it. So where are you at now? So I'm in Massachusetts with my right. fam. Um, yeah. And my parents have been like going out and doing most of the shopping. So I fully have just been like at home, not in public, like whatever. And I went out to get to get food at the grocery store for the first time yesterday. Yeah. And I was like anxious. Like I hadn't seen anyone in a month and I didn't realize that that it was going to feel weird to be like around strangers, which it's is such an odd. Experience. Yeah. Well, that just goes, that just is like, I was just thinking about how that, like, even once this is over, like people are going to be probably a little weird in social situations. Like, I don't know if shaking hands is going to be a yeah. thing or like, I'm a big hugger. So like, I don't know if that's going to be allowed anymore. <laughs> Or if anyone is going to feel comfortable. Yeah, you might, you might like start overthinking it, right? Which is kind of like, you know, but I'm, I listen, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's, you know, there's some, there's some drugs to kind of help this thing or there's, or that they get a vaccine. Cause once, once that happens, everyone can relax again. But I mean, I, I completely understand what you're saying. I mean, even obviously now, even when people are just like, not even that close to me in the street, I'm just like, you know, I'm like not like breathing and stuff. I'm like, yeah, no, exactly. Walk, like just overthinking it, you know? Yeah. Well, I feel like I've been kind of like dissociating from the situation. Cause I know that like I'm home and I'm not coming in contact with people. So like being thrusted into a situation, I didn't realize like I was going to feel weird. Like <laughs> it's just so weird. Cause you can go from like playing in a big venue and like hugging a hundred people in a row to like, oh my god I just got more like less than six feet away from someone in the grocery store like it's so it's just weird how yeah I think it's kind of cool though that my brain is naturally doing that but at the same time it's kind of sad <laughs> I mean your brain you know your brain naturally just wants to protect you right I mean that's that's always that's where yeah. anxiety comes from but um how are, how are you feeling otherwise how's it being at home how's it affecting how's it affecting you are you making music like what are you doing on, on that level yeah, um, I don't know. Every single day is a little bit different. The first few weeks were tough because I was like, wow, I fully am 16 years old again. Like, kind of was like, okay, this is going to be a while, so I got to figure out something that works. Yeah. Um, so I've been, like, trying to mix, like, chilling and doing like random things like reading or like I'm trying to learn French whatever with like really? productive stuff yeah with productive stuff like writing because I feel like if I put way too much pressure on myself and I'm like you have to write a pitch song every day or like you have to write your next album by the end of this thing like I'm gonna go insane no, so I'm trying to yeah I'm trying to like be productive and do as much as I can without beating myself up so I'm kind of trying to balance out fun like you know I can watch Friday Night Lights for three hours if I write a little bit later <laughs> you know what I mean like yeah, yeah just that's kind good. of a balance I think I think that's good and I you know some of my other conversations have been similar in the sense that I think you well we have to be kind to ourselves right because we don't really know like none of us have really been through any of this before and um it's just you know like I, I'm the same like I definitely I have days where I feel like more positive more optimistic the last couple of days I felt more frustrated because I was like you know I felt like there was no end in sight still and yeah you just have to find ways of like dealing with it but I think I think you're right I think you just all you need to do is just have a little bit of structure right so that you you, yeah. kind of, you feel like you've you've been a little bit productive but also so you deserve to like whatever watch a movie do whatever you want yeah do this well another thing that's weird is like I don't really, I've, I've been trying to figure out how to word this because I have it in my head. Like, the real life exists after this. And, like, I can, you know, try and learn French or, like, read a bunch of books, whatever. But, like, and that's all helpful and great things to do. But, like, for a few days, I was, like, not writing anything. And I just realized, like, I need to do stuff that connects to the real world like after this or I'm gonna like lose sight of the fact that it even exists a little bit yeah, especially because I'm not in my normal apartment I'm home like with my family which I haven't like stayed here for more than a few days like in probably two years it's just like a very weird thing you have to like I don't know I just feel like a big thing with feeling motivated is like reminding myself that there is like real life after this and anything we do 100%. There is, I mean, yeah. there is, but it's like, again, like you said, it's just like balance, isn't it? It's trying to 
trying to, you know, just try, trying to do whatever you can so that your morale is in the right place. And, you know, um, you just, you just feel okay about, about things, but what, so what's happening with like your music releases and stuff? Are you pushing anything back? Or are you just, you guys still releasing stuff or what? Well, we were already kind of in this state of like being pushed back a little bit because we're signing a new record deal. We're just like in the process of that, but the music is all done. I think everything's kind of ready to move forward with that. And so we're starting to focus on like actual release schedules and stuff. And at first it was kind of, no one was really sure whether it was like a good time to release music or not at the beginning of this, just cause you want to be sensitive. You don't want to make it about yourself. And I, yeah, I don't know, but I think people are at the point where they, are getting really bored and it I don't know I've, I've seen a few of my friends release music and like it's making me feel better so I feel like we're gonna try if this lasts a couple more months or whatever like we're not gonna let it stop us from releasing that being said I don't really know how long it's gonna take because we still have to do like visual content and stuff which is like has always been really important to me that that's done right I was trying to like do it here like trying to build the silver sphere in my basement <laughs> i was just like you know what i'm not going to compromise on the visuals but so we're figuring out how we can do visuals that we're proud of like during this time and then everything will be coming out yeah i mean again again it's balance isn't it i think you just have to find a way to like i i i, I feel like it is it is a good time to put music out i feel like like you said everyone's bored and they're you know they're gonna they're gonna pay attention to stuff but at the same time you're also right in saying that i think you don't want to compromise on certain things so i feel like i feel like the you know the songs that you're most excited about and stuff like that there's probably an argument to say just hold off on those for now you know yeah and then put others yeah. out so that people are talking about you in the conversations there but you know if you if you have a crazy video idea in mind you know don't i guess don't waste it now right by just doing yeah that's it yeah we me and me and nate my manager were talking yeah. about that for a little bit just trying to figure out like because it is really important to me i've never been the kind of person who's like the song is it like i want my whole i want all the videos to be like really like represent me and my whole like idea of the silver sphere and i want the album covers and everything just kind of like to go together and be really cohesive and create a world Yes. So we were talking about waiting and then I was like you know what like I have so much music done I have enough music to put out like two albums so I was like you know what we'll hold, we'll put this one out we can do like some kind of cool video content with it and then we can go back and we can make the videos like when everyone can get back together because there were like really cool ideas but I'm just I'm not going to give up on them but I feel like I don't I don't want to I don't want to wait anymore. I have so much music. But at the same time, it's all about like, I was talking about this too. It's all about boys and it's about crushes. And I was like, no one is like seeing their crushes. <laughs> like no one's going to be able to relate. <laughs> well, no, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, feel, I feel like, yeah, but every, you know, I think it goes back to like this sense of like, I feel, I feel like everyone's just dying for normalcy again. Right. So they're just like, yeah, I think, I think putting that stuff out to me is, I think is quite good. Cause I just, I just feel like people just want, kind of to feel like that that could happen again soon that they will see that yeah true that that is a much more positive outlook on it <laughs> but they I, I yeah and it's like I, I I'm generally positive but I also genuinely believe that you know what I mean like I feel yeah. like I feel like we're all just sitting here just like you know I well, I haven't seen any real humans that I know for a while like you know it's like anything any kind of sign whether it's something I read or whatever. <laughs> that, that human interaction and feelings are still out there. <laughs> yeah, or just that, just that life is going to come back. Like that, yeah. you know, that we can go to shows again. Like whatever it is, I think, I think is, is positive. And I, th I think people are at home looking for it. You know what I mean? Like subconsciously looking. Yeah, totally. No, it's a really cool time. And I feel like people are, like I've talked to, my, to more of my friends like now and like hung out with them over zoom more than i do in real life so in a way like i don't know it's kind of it obviously it's a really shitty situation and like it's not great but i don't know it's like a, it's also making everyone kind of like pause and sit back and connect and be like more yeah aware of what they have in their life like i don't know i lived in chicago for a few years and i i almost never like facetime with any of my friends and i've talked to them more in the last month than I have 
in the last year, which is yeah, and I think kind of cool. I I, yeah. I guess I guess one of the one of the positives that I think will come out of this is that we'll probably just you know how we would always do just phone calls before. I just think we'll all just do Zoom calls more. You know what I mean? It's nice. It's nice to yeah. see someone's face, right, and feel like you're having a real conversation. And I think it will just also it will be probably more acceptable to work from home and work from different places as long as you're connected and you have video like this. I mean, I, yeah, it feels it feels okay, right? Like if I had the choice to also go out and see my friends, it, I think that would be like obviously the perfect scenario. But yeah, you know this this has taught us that you know, this, this is, this is acceptable and this works, you know, and it's nice, it's yeah. nice to have these conversations. Well, you know what I'm so excited about? I was th- just like, I don't know. I'm so, it's going to be so sick when we can just go to a show again, like seeing, <laughs> I mean, playing shows is one of my favorite things, but like seeing my favorite artist is like, honestly, the thing that keeps me going and like keeps me inspired. And I just like, can't wait until I can go see yeah my favorite artist in concert again and it's like it's kind of funny to like that that's what I'm looking forward to like when literally the whole point of this whole thing is we can't like (laughs) we can't do that but I don't know I it's like it's making me appreciate live music more I think because you don't realize how much you miss it until you like can't go see live music so it's gonna be really nobody nobody oh you're paused oh hello Oh, you're back. Back? Yes. Um, no, but yeah, I was just going to say nobody would have expected this to happen. So it's just like, you know, it's a, you, you know, it's, it's like I, I go to so many shows and stuff like that, but I obviously I miss it and looking forward to it coming back. And, you know, I, I always appreciated it, I feel like, but I think, I think it'll just make, it definitely make me look at it different, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think people are, I mean, I'm definitely going to value live performance more obviously like I love shows I'm a musician I love playing them and going to them but I've been kicking myself for like every time someone was like hey do you want to go to that show and I was like no I'm tired (laughs) you know what I mean so I feel like people are really like gonna I mean probably are and are gonna keep like craving that kind of energy that we can't get from live shows right now so in the long run I think it'll be a positive thing because people will value it a lot 